San Luis Obispo. We're at Laguna Middle School, home of the Lancers, and today we're here to... Today we're at Laguna Middle School, we're in San Luis Obispo, and right now with us we've got 8th grade student Brooke. You ready? Yes. Okay, now I saved this one for you, and a lot of the other students that go to Laguna Middle School have been able to tell me some of the numbers, and we just make up a problem. Mm -hmm. But you're the last one, so I wanted to give you the really good problem. Okay. <laughs> you're alright with that? Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the problem. Because the reason I saved this for you is because it looks intimidating. Mm -hmm. Right? Some students might look at that and go, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do, where to start, and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and read the problem for us as it is. Okay. 3 plus 12 in parentheses times 8 divided by 2 in parentheses in brackets um, to the exponent of 2. Perfect. So okay. you read that nicely. Okay. So because a lot of times students will not remember that those are being multiplied, but when there's no symbol in parentheses, we know that those are being multiplied. Yeah. Okay. How are we going to start this? Uh, with the parentheses. Okay, so let's go ahead and okay. start all of this. So, 3 plus 12, which is 15. Okay. So. And then. Nice, okay. keep the brackets, keep the brackets. And then 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Okay. And then 15 times 4. Okay. And why are we doing 15 times 4? Why aren't we doing anything with this 2 yet? Um, because these are in the brackets. So right. So we're going to do, we're going to treat the brackets like parentheses when we do yeah. order of operations. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you distribute the 4 and you do 4 times 5 and plus 4 times 1. Oh, well, 4 times 10. Perfect. So the number one, but you know the value is 10. Yeah. So very nice on that. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then 4 times 10 is 40. And then you add those two together to get 60. Okay. And then that would be 60 squared. Right, because this actually is everything that is left inside those brackets. Yes. So when we started with the 3 plus 12 times the 8 divided by 2, everything in there now simplifies to 60. Yeah. So we have 60 squared, and what mm -hmm. is that? Um, that would be 60 times 60. So you would do, well, 6 times 6 is 36, mm -hmm. and you add the two zeros back. Perfect. So it's 3,600. How come it's not 120? If somebody saw on a test mm -hmm. 120 or 3,600 or 602, you came up with 3,600 and mm -hmm. you explained how you got that. Yeah. Why would somebody possibly get 120? Because they'd see the 2 when they do two ti 6 times 2, 60 times 2. Right, they would just go 60 times 2, yeah. right? And that could be a, an option on a test, and mm -hmm. some students might put that if they didn't know how the exponents worked. Yeah. And how would somebody get possibly 600 to? Um, if they saw, if they thought that this was not, this was like their final, and they thought that the exponent was actually a number. There you go. Nicely done, Brooke. Perfect work. <laughs> Thank you.